Okay, so one of the common occurrences I tend to see a lot of is overextension, also known as hyperextension of the lower back, which is this position. So as you can see, lower back, full extension, the muscles are short, the joints are very tight. Now the issue is, is people have lower back issues, so do you think by hyperextending the lower back, it's going to make it any better? And the sort of movements where we create hyperextension would be things like remaining in deadlift, so people go down, Extending like so, deadlifts, again, chest up in the air, back over back, tight, kettlebell swings, such a bad one as well here. So from here, you're going, Ugh. okay? These exercises don't need to ruin your lower back. If anything, you don't need to do any hyperextensions of the lower back. If anything, you need to tighten up the core and work the glutes and hamstrings better. Now, an easy focus to move towards drawing kettlebell swings, remaining deadlifts, uh, even just normal deadlifts. It's just focus on getting as tall as you can. So with a kettlebell swing, we're in that hip hinge position. From here, we're just going to drive tall, boom. Drive tall, boom, yeah? Get into your most upright position, no leaning back. For me, I focus on the glutes, the stretch, squeeze and drive. Stretch, squeeze and drive. So it'll look more like this. Trying to get to our tallest position. For our remaining deadlifts, again, they're all the same sort of movements from the hip hinge pattern. The remaining deadlifts, as we come down, hamstrings and glutes are stretched, and we're just getting tall, boom. Down, 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 drive tall. Driving tall. Again, all the hip hinge patterns, just focus predominantly on the glutes and getting as tall as we can. Glutes are stretched, tall. Glutes are stretched, tall. When you start focusing on working the hamstrings and the glutes coming away from the lower back, you'll notice that the back pain will lower. So give it a go.